Welcome to another team spot announcement video for Minute Rips. This will be the team assignments for the month of November. First of all, let's talk about how you get your name on the list. It's quite a list. If you would like to get your name on the list, all you need to do is send me an email at minuterips at gmail.com and I will need your YouTube name, your choice of what team you would like, and a shipping address. If you are under 18 years old, make sure that you get permission from your parents before you give people on the internet your shipping address. Once you get your name on the list, we will just we started at the beginning. We started way up here at the beginning in January with Daddy Daughter Card Breaks. Once you get your name on the list, we just go down the list. And we just keep going down the list until we get to your name. We're bringing up about eight names per month. And the team you choose is the team you will get all of the cards for your team from all of the packs from that month worth of Minute Rips. We do Minute Rips every day. We've been doing it for over 500 days. We have gotten all the way down to number 82 on the list. We've had to skip a couple of people and delay them by one month. If your name comes up, for example, today, JVK Cards and Collectibles, if your name comes up and somebody else already has your team for that month, then you will be moved down and we will wait to put your name on the, the monthly assignment until we actually have your team spot available. So let's look at see who has been added to the list this month. We ended with um, John Woodworth and so we have added Matt Chris, we've added Matthew Woodworth, we've added MJ Classic Pulls, Doc Plum, Driller Killer 213, Queen Bee, Torin Skinner, Stephen D, Debbie Olson, and RJ Collect Sets. A lot of these names have been on the list before and have actually received cards from Minute Rips. Uh, once we reach your name and I announce that you've been assigned a month, then you may add your name back to the end of the list if you like. The way you add your name to the list is by sending me an email, minuterips at gmail.com, your YouTube name, your chosen team, and your shipping address. If you're under 18, you've got to have permission from your parents. I don't want to receive any more unpleasant emails from somebody's parents telling me that they didn't have permission to sign up. So now that we've seen who's on the list, let's see who's been chosen for the month of November. We just go straight down the list unless there's... Oops, sorry. Shook the camera. Bumped into the tripod there. We just go down the list and assign the teams unless somebody else has chosen your team already that month. So for the month of November, we have Gradeworthy Trading Cards, Getting the Yankees. We have Lisa Zankevich, Getting the Tigers. We have Positive Breaks, Getting the Cardinals. We've got Autographs 2000, Getting the Orioles. Can you tell that I misspelled it and had to scratch it out and start over? We have Mr. Delby, Getting the Reds. Paul R., Getting the Mariners. Don't Talk to Robots, getting the Cubs, and Snookman getting the Rays. Let's go ahead and put that up there. And let's uh, look at all this empty space I have, just waiting for you guys to add your names on the list. And I can uh, add more paper to this. There's no shortage of grocery bags. I can add more paper. We could make this name, we could make this list a thousand names long. 
course, it'll take a while to get there at only eight per month. Uh, so let's look at a couple of things here. Um, JVK cards and collectibles. Uh, I believe you've chosen the Yankees, and Gradeworthy Trading Cards is already getting the Yankees this month, so you will be on the list for next month with the Yankees. Uh, so please uh, don't try to add your name back on the list until we get until you uh, have the announcement for December. Um, Gradeworthy has already waited about two or three extra months, and Michael Weber's Cards and Collectibles. I believe that you had the Tigers. And Lisa Zankevich already has the Tigers, so we're going to have you wait for an extra month also. And then uh, the rest of you guys, or the eight of you who have just been announced, you're welcome to add your names back to the end. We don't have that many on there, so hopefully we'll get a few more on there. Um, should I let it slip out that there are going to be in addition to the improvements that we've just announced recently with the better packs, thanks to all the donations we've gotten, uh, there are going to be some other added tidbits coming up in the new year. Uh, January 1st will be one year anniversary of allowing you guys to participate. Oh, by the way, there's no cost for this and there's no cost for shipping. This is just something that I'm giving as a gift. So if you're concerned about that, don't worry about it. I cover it. And go ahead and sign up. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot to do the uh, the no, the uh, October stacks. We've got New York. We have... What, what was this? Oh, the Angels. Got the Angels. All these were going out for... November um, for October. All of these were for October. The um, the big winner, I think. Well, we had two big winners. Uh, the Dodgers had so many cards going out, I had to use two team bags. You guys picked um, pretty good teams this month. And uh, they got a lot more cards than we've seen in the past. Uh, average is 12 to 14 cards. And this time it was a lot more on average, and 32 cards going out for the Dodgers. And then uh, here's the hits. The other big winner was the um, the Braves with two cards coming out of the National Treasures, no, Museum Collection, including this amazing quad relic here. Um, I'm not a huge fan of reusing top loaders, but I had to take one of my cards out of a top loader because I just did not have a top loader thick enough for that. So I apologize for the used top loader. And then we had this numbered going out to the White Sox. 1196 of 2021. So those are the hits. Uh, anything numbered, anything, any relics, and any autographs get top loaded. And that's just a special card. So I put that in the top loader too. So all of those going out for, no, for October. All of those going out for October. I'm going to move this here, put this here, and it is time to get you guys kick-started. Oh, first let's introduce some new dice for November, just these yellow ones with rounded corners and white numbers. We'll be adding those into the mix, and let's crack open some packs to get you guys started for the month. Uh, I'll start with 1996. Series 2. This was donated as part of an enormous 149-pack donation by Brian Zebart, Badger Z, Z's Collections. Uh, I'm going to open this one up as one of our uh, kickstarting ones because this package won't actually fit in the envelopes that I'm using. Let's see what we get out of here. Oh, do I have to snip these with the scissors? Wow, quite difficult to tear those. Okay, we have a brick. 
All right, let's see here. We have the Dodgers. We have, ooh, Marlins. Those logos are really small. We've got the Athletics. These are a little bit stuck together. Doesn't look like they got damaged. We've got the Expos. We have the Reds for Mr. Delby. We have the Rockies. This one's different. What is that on there? Now appearing. So it's got that little foil stamp, now appearing. So that's for the Mets. We have another now appearing for the Mariners. Man, the logos are super tiny on these. We've got Prospects. Bunch of different names on here. Bunch of different teams. Remember that um, cards with multiple teams stay with me. The only cards going out to the people on the list are when it's a solitary team on a card. We've got the Mets. We've got the Cubs. We've got the Yankees for grade-worthy trading cards. Jimmy Key. We have the Padres, the Giants. Oh, this one looks like it does have a little bit of damage on the front there. That's that's where they were stuck together. Looks like as we're getting towards the back, it's a little bit worse. We've got the Phillies. Two more cards. We have the Twins and the Reds going out to Mr. Delby. All right. Now they're not stuck together. Uh, next pack we're going to do is going to be 1988 Fleer, and this was a donation from, actually from Snookman, John Durning. We've been uh, keeping him in the number three spot, so if we roll a three, we will be opening one of his packs that he donated. I think it was 29 packs. Let's see if we can get you one of your own cards. All right, we've got stickers. We have the Orioles for Autographs 2000. We've got the Astros. Mariners. The Expos. Oh, wait, Mariners. I, I've been reading Mariners, 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 and not mentioning that those are going out to Paul R. Sorry, Paul. Um, it's a little bit tricky when I'm making this video, I've just finished sorting out all of last month's cards. And so my brain is stuck on the teams from last month and who's getting what. That's why it's a little difficult for me to remember who's getting what as I open these. Uh, I literally just finished sorting all these out. And when I sort them out, basically, I open all the cards throughout the month and I stack them up in this box as I open them. And then at the end of the month... I sort them all out, pull out all the teams that have assignments, and then I go through the whole thing again to make sure I didn't miss any. This month I only missed one card out of all of those. We've got the Expos, the Indians, the Cubs for Don't Talk to Robots. We've got the White Sox. Nobody has the White Sox this month. We've got the Dodgers. We have the Reds for Mr. Delby. We've got the Blue Jays. Somebody had the Blue Jays last month, but not this month. We've got the Royals. Cardinals. I like that photo with the brick wall in the background. That's nice. We've got the Red Sox. We have Dodgers. Nobody has the Dodgers this month. And we have the Cardinals. That was a pack donated by Snookman, John Durning. Thank you very much for that donation. You guys, when, you, when you've when you donated packs every day, that uh, well, every pack that you donated is one day that we get to do another minute rip. And it allows me to take the money that I would have spent on a pack and put it toward something that I wouldn't normally be able to afford for minute rips. So that's amazing. You guys help to improve what we have access to. So thank you very much. 
Next one we have was a donation from Epiphany Card Collector. Um, I got a value box, a value pack, a blaster box as a prize, and then a straight up gift of two more blaster boxes. And this was the prize. And uh, as you guys will see in a moment, it turns out that blaster box was actually a hot box. Thank you, Epiphany Card Collector, for that amazing, even better than you thought it was donation. We've got the Nationals, the Cardinals, the Mets, we've got the Orioles for Autographs 2000, we have the Yankees for Grade Worthy Trading Cards, we have the Angels, nobody has the nobody has the Angels. Well, this would be the month for me to pull a Mike Trout rookie. I mean, a, a, a Mike Trout autograph, right? <laughs> In a month when nobody has the Angels, uh, we've got the Padres. We have the Tigers going out to Lisa Zankevich. Wow, nice, three rookie stars right there, and the purple is the Dodgers. Nobody has the Dodgers. It is Corey Seager. What an awesome card right there. Uh, next thing we're going to open. When I do these uh, kickstart videos, I want to do around 100 cards. So the next one, I think we got up to about 108. We're going to go ahead and do a um, hanger box of 2021 Series 1. Let's see what we find in here. I'm trying to keep this to 20 minutes, but I think I'm going to run a little bit over. All right, got that. Sorry about the noise. Let's see what treasure we can find in here. 67 cards. Is that right? Yeah, 67 cards. All right, let's do this. Put those in the back. We'll do those second. Okay, we've got San Diego, Padres, Nationals, Tigers for Lisa Zankevich. We've got the Nationals, the Marlins, the Braves, Rockies, Indians, Dodgers, another Dodger. We've got the Cardinals, the Rangers. We have the Diamondbacks. Oh, all these times, okay. Sorry guys. Every time we've had a Cardinals card and I didn't mention positive breaks. But you are on the list. You will be getting those. I, I will learn it by the end of the month. I promise. <laughs> we've got the Diamondbacks. The Rays. Going out to Snookman. We've got the Mariners for Paul R. We have the Mets. Another Dodgers World Series card. We've got the Phillies. Nobody has the Phillies. Alec Bohm, rookie card. We have the Dodgers. The Reds for Mr. Delby. We have the Cubs for Don't Talk to Robots. Another Cub for Don't Talk to Robots. You guys need to check out uh, their channel, Don't Talk to Robots. They're uh, super funny. They just, just finished up their 100th episode. We have... The Marlins, the Braves, we have the Phillies, Red Sox, and the Royals. We've got the Rockies, the Indians, the White Sox. Nobody has the White Sox. That was last month. We've got the Orioles for Autographs 2000. Got the Blue Jays, the White Sox, 
We have the Tigers for Lisa Zankevich. We have the Braves. The Orioles for Autographs 2000. Another Oriole for Autographs 2000. We have the White Sox. The Mets. Phillies. Cardinals for Positive Breaks. The Mariners for Paul R. The Yankees for Grade Worthy Trading Cards. We have the Twins, the Brewers, the Royals, the Dodgers, the Padres, Mariners for Paul R. We have the Giants, Padres, Mets, Athletics for me, Mark Canna. We've got the Rangers, nobody has the Rangers, the Royals, the Cubs for Don't Talk to Robots. Albert Almora Jr. I learned how to say his name. I used to stumble over it. We have Julio Arias for the Dodgers. We've got a gold for the Phillies. 178 of 2021. Nobody has the Phillies this month. We have the Yankees for grade worthy trading cards. The Dodgers. We've got Chris Bryant for the Cubs. Does Kalen already have that one? Probably. Probably does. We've got Aaron Judge for the Yankees going out to Great Worthy Trading Cards. We have the Rockies. We have Ichiro for the Mariners going out to Paul R. We have the Indians. And we have the Dodgers. And I have one last little pack. If you guys have seen the video where I did a time-lapse labeling up all of the donations that came from Brian Zebart. Um, those donations were sent, packed up inside a couple of old boxes, and the old boxes had cards printed on the back, on the bottom of the box. And I took my trusty little paper trimmer and cut them out neatly. So we are going to go ahead and put those in this month's Kickstarter. So we have a limited edition logo for the Tigers going out to Lisa. We've got the Red Sox, the Phillies. We have the Cubs, Ryan Sandberg from the bottom of the box going out to Don't Talk to Robots. Another Ryan Sandberg from the other box for Don't Talk to Robots. We've got Lou Gehrig. What team is that? Is that New York? Going out to Grade Worthy Trading Cards, we have the White Sox and the Mets. Uh, that's the first time that I have ever cut cards off the bottom of a box. And luckily, I have a nice little handy-dandy paper trimmer, so I didn't have to do it crazy with the scissors. I, I know those don't have a lot of value, but it's still a nice novelty to have. So those will be going out to you guys as well. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you want to sign up, to get your name on the list, there's no charge. It's minuterips at gmail.com. Include your YouTube name. Choose a team. Send your address. Make sure you have permission from your parents. And we will add you to the list. And then we just wait our turn. And it's not that long off. We're doing about eight per month. So this is about two months worth not really that long. Thank you for watching. Let me know which cards you liked and see you next time.